Well, greetings, everybody. This is Jim Hovland, your Adina Mayor, and this is the Mayor's Minute for Wednesday, July 5th, 2023. We had quite a memorable parade yesterday, an uh, hour and a half delay or so because of that thunderstorm, but uh, it was that mixed blessing. We really needed the rain. Uh, that was greatly appreciated. Uh, timing could have been a little bit different, but we got the parade in, and thanks to everybody that showed up for the parade so that we uh, could enjoy it together. The people that were in the parade, I think we really loved having everybody out on the street. Uh, I was just stunned at how many people had stuck it out to uh, go to the parade. And, and there were all kinds of wonderful stories about how people were treating each other along the parade route, opening up garage doors so people could get out of the rain, uh, houses, uh, people going to get donuts for people that were in their garages. Just uh, really all in all a great experience uh, in community building. So I'm really appreciative of that. You know, uh, this COVID problem continues and Bloomington Public Health is funding community-led solutions to reduce the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic and to help communities recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic impacted all backgrounds and races. The impacts have extended to the social factors of health and well-being that include education, job opportunities, housing, and more. While many of these impacts have occurred regardless of race, ethnicity, and income, the pandemic intensified pre-existing disparities amongst people. Bloomington Public Health will try to address those disparities and will help distribute funds across two program areas, one called community-based recovery activities and the other is called COVID-19 vaccine activities. Projects must serve Bloomington, Edina, and or Richfield. You can apply online at blm.mn forward slash COVID grant Applications are due July 20th. This is Jim Hovland, and that's your Mayor's Minute for Wednesday, July 5th, 2023. I hope you have a great rest of the 4th of July week. We'll see you soon.